This is problem 70 from OpenStax University of Physics, chapter 10. The moment of inertia is defined as this quantity for a uniform mass distribution we can define the linear density as the total mass divided by the total length and therefore we can rewrite our element of mass as rho dx. And you can check this by integrating dm, which will be the integral of rho dx from the beginning of the rod to the end of the rod. And you will see that that answer simplifies to m. My limits of integration go between negative L over 3 to 2L over 3 because I'm basically making this x equals 0. In this direction, it's positive. And in this direction, it would be a negative. Since rho is a constant, I can bring it out of the integral. I'll factor out the 3. Let's rewrite that. So what I'm doing here is when I write this out, I'm going to write it out like rho over 3 x cubed evaluated from negative L over 3 to 2L over 3. And I'll go ahead and put rho back as m over l, so then that becomes m over 3l times 2l over 3 cubed minus negative l over 3 cubed. And that is part A of this problem.
Right now let's do everything, but this time we will use the parallel axis theorem. The parallel axis theorem states that my moment of inertia is going to be equal to moment of inertia as measured at the center of mass plus the mass times the square of the distance from the center of mass to the new axis. Now, looking at uh, table 10.20, I will choose one that uh, seems appropriate. In this case, I will choose the third one from the left, the thin rod um, about axis to the center that is perpendicular to the length. And that value is I equals ML squared over 12. Now, what is this distance d? Well, that distance d is the distance between the center of mass, which in this case would be right around here at L over 2, and the new axis. It's important to know that I chose an axis for my center of mass moment of inertia that is parallel to the axis uh, through which it would be rotated. So this is the distance d. And I have that my moment of inertia should be ml squared over 12 plus m times the distance, which would be L over 2 minus L over 3 squared. And this quantity, 4 over 36, is equal to 1 over 9. And we see that our answers agree. 